everybody, it's Mel Wakeman from Wake Me Nutrition on this gloriously sunny day. And just because I've had my lunch and it's been sunny, you sort of think salads, you think seeds, grains, you think different vegetables and fruits. For some reason when it's warmer and sunny, we seem to go into sort of a, a health mode and uh, I think eat more naturally, eat lighter foods and if it's nice enough and we've got the time, we can eat outside. So I was just thinking about different grains and seeds. And I wanted to spend a, a few minutes talking to you about chia seeds, because these have become really popular lately. And I've seen loads of videos on YouTube and Facebook where all sorts of different recipes and smoothies and drinks are incorporating chia seeds because they can confer all sorts of different sort of health benefits. So if we look at this package, I bought these in LD. It says natural source of fiber, Good natural source of omega-3, which are essential fatty acids, so there's sort of essentially those healthy fats that can help promote good heart health and so on. Natural source of protein and they're gluten-free. So I've got these chia seeds. They're tiny, tiny, they're almost like poppy seeds basically. And these little packets of nutrition provide us with really good so sources of protein. So about, these are about 16% protein by weight. Um, so I'll talk to you about that in a second. As it says, high in fibre, there's lots of vitamins and minerals in here, but they may not be quite as good as we, we might assume. Okay, so let's start with protein. Okay, so um, good source of protein and of a plant variety, this is providing us with essential fat. So um, these fats can promote health benefits. Now, what we have to bear in mind is that I can't really see us using chia seeds as being, you know, a significant part of our diet to give us a good amount of protein. So if we want to get about 20 grams of protein from chia seeds, we've got to eat a lot of them. And because they're quite rich in fatty acids, although they're healthy fats, you're going to get calories along with these. So in other words, to get a sort of a 20 gram amount of protein that you might get in a protein bar or a protein shake, you're also going to get about nearly 600 calories worth of energy. So realistically, I wouldn't sort of say have chia seeds to make a big difference to your protein intake. The other thing is um, the fibre content, okay? So chia seeds absorb a lot of water and they have this ability to create like a, a mucilage when they get exposed to liquid. So in this cup, I have put in one single tablespoon of chia seeds, okay? And I've actually tripled the amount of water that has gone he in here. So I've put three tablespoons of water. And if you can see this, it's gone into chia gloop, okay? So basically those chia seeds have absorbed that water. And I don't know if you can see it sort of close up, if it's hanging on there. It looks a little bit like concentrated frog spawn. So you've got that sort of mucus coating all around the chia seeds. And this is giving us a really good form of, of soluble fiber. Now fiber in general is really important for our gut health to keep us going to the loo regularly, to eliminate toxins and waste products. But also we know that fiber can help us to stabilize our appetite, for example. So fiber keeps us full up for longer, so we're perhaps less likely to snack. So actually chia seeds, I think, can be used quite creatively to add into our foods to quite subtly increase the fiber content. And interestingly, re really recent studies have come out that are hinting that chia seeds may be beneficial in weight management and may be beneficial in helping sort of to regulate blood sugar levels because fiber also helps to stabilize your blood sugar levels because it slows down the rate at which sugars get absorbed, it slows down the rate at which your, your food is getting digested. So very early days yet, but that, that's sort of on, on the horizon. So if you can take that in your food, fair enough. The other thing is vitamins and minerals. These seeds are loaded with vitamins and minerals. The problem is, is when you've got a high fiber food, the fiber connects and holds on to those vitamins and minerals. So they're not absorbed particularly well. So again, really nutritious, incorporate them into your salads, your drinks and smoothies, that sort of thing. But don't sort of rely on them thinking, they're going to provide you with a significant amount of vitamins and minerals, okay? So that's my little take on, on chia seeds. Like anything else, 
everything in moderation. Don't rely on isolated food sources for certain properties, but this will give you a bit of protein, some vitamins and minerals, but a good dose of fibre. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you very much.